Hello, my name is Andy. Welcome to my well control class. Here, we will compare influx evacuation between surface POP and subsea POP, especially when we start the circulation and when the influx finally arrives at surface. It is important for course participants to understand the points covered here for preparing their subsea simulator training. I hope this presentation can help some participants. Thank you. In this presentation we are comparing influx removal operations using driller method between surface BOP and subsea BOP. We will focus to observe some differences during this following specific moment. 1. While starting the pump to circulate the influx out and 2, while the gas influx is arriving at surface. Here is the illustration for surface BOP. Let's say the last SCR record showed SCR pressure at 30 SPM is 300 PSI. Then while drilling later, the well is kicking and the BOP is closed, SIDP is 500 PSI, and SICP is 650 PSI. To circulate the kick out, the choke is opened and the pump speed is increased gradually, from 0 SPM, until reaching kill speed 30 SPM, in 5 SPM increment. Meanwhile, the choke is opened gradually and casing pressure is maintained constant. The drill pipe pressure will increase following the increasing pump speed, the higher the pump SPM, the higher DP pressure will be. Important to maintaining casing pressure when changing the pump speed, to maintain the bottom hole pressure constant. Choke is opened up following increasing pump SPM, and casing pressure is maintained constant. After the pump is reaching 30 SPM kill speed, the DP pressure should be SIDP plus SCR, in here is 800 PSI, which is the initial circulating pressure ICP. On sub CBOP, Let's say we have the same 300 PSI of SCR pressure through riser. After taking kick and BOP is closed. HCR valves on kill line are opened, only to monitor pressure, while HCR valves on choke line are opened to prepare influx circulation. To maintain bottom hole pressure constant while increasing the pump speed gradually, the choke must be opened gradually, and kill line pressure is maintained constant. The casing pressure will decrease, because of friction pressure loss inside the choke line. Here, drill pipe pressure is increased from SIDP 500 PSI to ICP at 800 PSI, so ICP is SIDP plus SCR through riser. While the casing pressure is decreased from 650 to 420 PSI so the choke line friction loss 230 PSI, is the difference between SICP and dynamic casing pressure at 30 SPM. Meanwhile, the kill line pressure is constant at 650 PSI, so during this pump startup, bottom hole pressure is maintained constant. For surface BOP. Let's say that influx is reaching surface with 850 PSI drill pipe pressure, including 50 PSI overbalance. When the gas influx is reaching the choke, a drop in casing pressure will be observed. The choke opening must be reduced to maintain drill pipe pressure constant. If the choke opening is not reduced, the casing pressure will drop too much, and then the drill pipe pressure will also dropping, so bottom hole pressure cannot be maintained constant, and probably there will be extra influx. In example here, the choke opening is reduced from 43 to 33 percent when the influx is reaching the choke. After the influx is completely out, the mud will come back passing the choke, the choke opening must be increased again, to avoid a jump in casing pressure, that may break the formations. Here, the choke is opened up again, from 33% back to 43% when influx is completely out and the mud is come back passing the choke. It is critical to adjust the choke opening when the influx is reaching the choke, and when the mud is coming back into the choke. With the influx is successfully removed, casing pressure will decrease down to SIDP plus overbalance. For sub-CBOP, as long as the influx is still below the BOP, 
then both of casing pressure and kill line pressure are increasing at the same rate. Kill line pressure is always higher than casing pressure, and the difference is equal to choke line friction loss. Not too much adjustment required during this stage of circulation to maintain drill pipe pressure constant at ICP plus over balance. As the influx moving up higher in the annulus, the casing pressure and kill line pressure both are increasing at the same rate. For sub CBOP, after top of influx is reaching BOP, it continues move up through the choke line. Starting from this point, casing pressure will increase, while kill line pressure will decrease. Casing pressure increases since influx with lighter density is replacing mud inside the choke line. Kill line pressure decreases since friction loss inside choke line is smaller with light density influx inside the choke line, instead of mud. Choke needs to be closed a little more, to maintain drill pipe pressure constant, based on how fast kill line pressure is decreasing. The increasing casing pressure cannot be used as reference for choke adjustment. In summary, to maintain DP pressure, and bottom hole pressure constant, choke opening needs to be reduced based on kill line pressure observation, and not on casing pressure. Kill line pressure will not be constant, it is allowed to decrease slowly, since less and less influx is left below the BOP. At the end of influx evacuation, the fluid inside the choke line is changing, from light density influx, back to mud. DP pressure must be kept constant, casing pressure will decrease, since mud is replacing light density influx inside the choke line. If choke line is not opened up, kill line pressure will increase. Again, choke adjustment is made based on kill line pressure, and not on decreasing casing pressure. After the mud is reaching the choke, choke opening is back to 43%. At the end, DP pressure kept constant, choke is back to 43%, kill line pressure is approaching SIDP plus over balance, and BHP is constant.